Guess what guys, out painting, in painting, all native in Photoshop. Let's explore. Hey guys, it's the Cardinal King, once again inviting you into the King's Court. And today we're gonna talk about Adobe's new update. They just added in painting and out painting to Photoshop. All right guys, I'm gonna show you how to get this feature first before we, we get started. So you go into your Adobe Creative Cloud app, you go over here where it says beta apps, press on here, and then you go to Photoshop and you install it. And then after it's done installing, you open it up. Okay, so I've got an image here from an upcoming project that you guys will hear all about when you like, comment, subscribe, and do whatnot that YouTubers ask you to do. But right now we are going to out paint a little bit of this image, right? So what we do here is that we crop, we get the crop tool. Let's say we wanna make it this kind of ratio right there. Then we would get this tool over here to select, right? And as soon as we do that, we have generative fill here. So we'll press generative fill. So we can add things, you know, like a normal prompt up there. But if we just want to out paint, we just hit generate, right? So this stuff's still in beta, it's not gonna be the best. We're just kind of showing you how it's done and hopefully like in a year or two, this thing will be awesome and very usable, right? This is a very, very usable example. Well, it, it nailed that. So here's another one that's pretty good. Third one, the, these are all usable. Um, my first go around, it was actually giving me kind of a nasty line where the selection was made, but this is awesome. Look at that. I'm gonna end up using this one. I am very satisfied with that. Let's see if it can give her legs. All right, so this is what it gave us. Not that bad. I mean, it's definitely not the same, you know, not the same thing as if we had put in an actual description, but it's not bad. Um, I, I don't think it knows how to differentiate styles yet. All right, guys, so we've tried a couple of variations here. I'm not very happy with any of these, to be 100% honest, but I mean, it's, this thing came out two hours ago, so. We're gonna see this thing change. So you can check out your variations over here and just kind of click through them. Um, I tried a lot of different prompts. These aren't that bad, actually. You can probably in-paint this one and then do this one again to great success, right? Um, but yeah, not the best so far. Even when I used the original prompt that I used on Mid Journey, didn't really work it out. But to be 100% honest, these original ones weren't that bad. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to in paint now. And as a irate newsman once said, we'll do it live. So we're just gonna do like a really rough selection here. And we're gonna put in space helmet. All right, and this is what it gave us. That's not, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. I mean, it's not as good as our original generation, but it's, it still kind of has the style. Um, this is gonna be useful for really small fixes. I'm assuming if I put hand on here, it'll give us something good. So let's see. We're just gonna put hand. And obviously I think this thing's gonna get more powerful when you can do negative prompts because it'll help you do like hand with five fingers instead of like having a monster hand, right? So that's gonna be a really useful fix for that type of stuff. And it gave me a realistic hand. That's pretty hilarious. So since this thing tends to skew more towards realism, we're gonna try to give it a realistic thing to give us, right? So we're going to do a quick mask over here. We can do a better job than that. Let's make it like this. And just put a big foot. Let's see what happens. I wonder what the secret sauce is behind the generation times because it's generating pretty quickly. They, they must have something. Maybe it calls back home and does a generation on their uh, on their hardware. I, I, I highly doubt that it's wasting. Wow, that looks like a mutated cat. That is horrifying. There we go. That's a little better. That's like a claymation Bigfoot. The, these are horrifying. Like I said, it's day one of this technology, for Adobe anyways, so they still got quite a ways to, to go. Um, I, I think honestly that they're probably just gonna end up buying like a mid-journey 
and just having them develop this stuff, but that's just my personal opinion. We're gonna give another example here. Um, this was a shot I took on film on a medium format camera. Uh, we're gonna see if it can do the analog thing pretty, pretty well, so. What I want is a woman sitting here with her back turned. A woman with her back turned to us. Analog film style. It's not bad. It's not bad. I thought I was going to put her sitting, but um, also not bad. Third, not bad. All right, let's change it up a little bit. Let's see. Woman sitting on the bench. Let's see if it can recognize that this is a bench and I'm supposed to put the woman sitting on it here. All right, I'm liking these results a lot better than the last ones. Let's go. Oh, this is good. Like it did actually understand the concept of the bench. Um, it gave us some overhang here. It didn't quite, you know, remove the bridge here, but uh, this face is like, she's part of the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre family there, right? So it's not bad too, but it gave her that creepy, like, no face. And I mean, these images are huge. Like, it should have enough uh, latitude here where we should be able to do anything. It also kind of replaced more than it needed to because you can see the film grain stops right here. Final example, guys. Uh, here's a photo I took of Dan Harmon. Uh, he's the co-creator of Rick and Morty and a great writer. Um, I use the automatic select to select them out, and as you can tell, because it kind of brightened up the photo a little bit, um, you can tell it has kind of like a little bit of a fringe on the left-hand side over here. I yeah, just kind of brightened it up, but um, I guess it'd be really funny if we dressed them up like a pirate, right? So let's give them a pirate patch here. Oh, snap. All right, so this doesn't work on... Grayscale images. All right, there we go. So generative fill, and we're gonna put a eye patch. Okay, give him like a medical eye patch. Oh man, it turned him into a monster. All right, we're gonna do that again. A pirate's eye patch. Okay, that's like a Victorian area eye patch. That is disturbing, it gave him like a dull eye. I mean, that's closer to what we wanted, but it's not in the style we wanted. So let's see a pirate's eye patch. Black and white photo. It's like a half superhero mask, a, a medical eye patch again. I guess this one's kind of passable, right? But it's not very pirate-ish. Now let's give him a hat. Okay, here we are. Um, that's not bad. It's pretty deformed. Doesn't really look like it. Doesn't read as a pirate hat, but it's all right. There we go. That's a lot better. And that's really good, but it's a little too high on his head. But if we keep the hat hair and then we give him like sweet locks of hair and see what happens. All right, so we've got our selection here for the pirate hat or for the hair. So we're gonna put pirate dreadlocks. Let's see what it gives us. Oh snap, what, what did it even give us? Okay, those are not dreadlocks. Okay. Wow, that, that's a total fail there. Okay, so this first one, I gave him kind of Wolverine hair. Second one, it gave him like unkept hair. Third one did not work. We're gonna try the dreadlocks again. Oh snap, they violate the user guidelines. We can't give them dreadlocks. Yeah, I don't I don't think this thing can do dreadlocks, guys. Or even long hair. All right, I'm gonna try to force its hand here. I know this thing on this image for whatever reason is just not not cooperating. So we're gonna try to select our subject and put them in a different background. So we'll do select subject. Our subject is selected, didn't do a bad job with the mask. There's still stuff you can add though, right here, up here. But uh, since we're not doing a technical, you know, issue on selecting, we're just gonna go ahead and generate what kind of background we want. So we're gonna do command shift I here. 
There we go. Select everything but him. Then we're going to go a Spanish Galleon. Which I, I believe is a ship, right? Oh, and that's not bad at all. Put him, put him outside of it, though. Oh, this one is actually like on it. Like it's okay. It's not letting me go back. Oh snap! This thing eats up your scratch disk. I have a, I have an entirely different hard drive for my scratch disk, and it already ate it up. Wow. Yeah, this thing is not super optimized, guys. I'm gonna have to delete that whole scratch disk right now, reformat it, but. All right, guys, and that has been the video. I hope you learned something new, and obviously this stuff's brand new. It literally came out like two hours ago, so it's gonna have a lot of pitfalls and issues, and it's in beta, but it's really fun to play around with. Um, if you learned something new today, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the very goofy things that YouTubers tell you to do. This has been the Cardinal King, out.